Hello and welcome to my little world. So this week, as I promised last week, I worked on the exterior of my theater and it's going to take me several weeks to get there, but I'm really pleased with what I did this week and I would like to take you along on the journey and show you what I did. So welcome here today and thank you for coming to visit. Shout out to Yumika and Torchan. And let's see what I worked on this week. And let me show you what I'm wearing today. It's this cute little bunny sweatshirt. I had this sweatshirt. It had this design on it, which is um, a Korean finger hearts that are popular with K-pop and in Korea. And I added the little tassels, made little hearts. I made these little hearts. He, the bunny rabbit has a balloon heart. And that's what the bunny rabbit looks like. And I just added him to this sweatshirt that I already had. Okay, so I'm beginning to work on the exterior of my theater. And as you can see, I have the box sitting on top of this table, which I'm planning on incorporating into the building. And I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna do here. So I have closed the front doors uh, which is not super easy to do because I have I have these hanging from the top, but I just I just lifted it up and then pushed the doors in and they're actually staying closed better than they were uh, before when I was folding the top and bottom inside. So the top and bottom are kind of holding the doors closed, which is good. I'm going to need to be careful when I put the exterior walls on um, these parts so that I can still fold them in easily. And um, I'll be putting windows on the sides and I was going to do three and then I realized, no, I have to do two because I have to do one in the center of each part. And so then there's this, this um, part of the floor which uh, has the rug on it when it's open. And so I'm probably going to just paint this um, to give it a, a, a texture and a feel to where it could be part of the outdoor exterior part of the theater as well as being inside because uh, when it's on the inside, it'll be covered by the rug. But when it's on the outside, it'll just be um, painted to be kind of like a little roof part and then um, and then I think actually it looks kind of cool having the stars hanging down from the top. Uh, these are a couple of things I have uh, that I'm thinking of putting up on the roof. And so then down below, I have these um, pillars. They're just made of plaster. I bought a bunch of these about seven years ago at Hobby Lobby, and a lot of them have fallen apart by now because the moisture in the air does get to them and eventually they crack and fall apart. But these two, and they were, they were pretty inexpensive anyway, but these two are still intact and I think they would look cool as part of the building. And then there's, there's kind of a space here um, that I'm gonna need to fill in to go up to the building. I have this cute little uh, Tinkerbell jewelry box that I'm wanting to incorporate in the, the exterior of, of the building somehow. And, and it's a little music box, which is cute. Um, I have put I have just stuck these pieces of brick paper inside. I, I don't want to ruin this table, so I don't want to paint it or anything. So I think I'm just going to leave the wood the way it is. 
and incorporate it into the building and hopefully that'll look cool. And then I'm not going to use uh, this brick paper, but I'm just sticking it in here to give me a sense of what the building will be like behind the pillars. I have this that I want to make into a uh, like a water fountain to sit in front of the building. I want to put some steps in here. It's going to be a little bit tight. Like this is, I would prefer to have this further back, but I may just have to kind of move it back and forth um, in the same way that I that I open and close the building. I have to change it, you know, at different times for different uses. Um, so that is that, and and so this down here will be uh, the entrance doors. And then we will pretend that there are stairs that go up to the theater inside uh, that you won't see. So that's as far as I've gotten so far today. I have these window designs left from um, other buildings that I made, the Painted Lady and the Brick Townhouse. And so I think I'm going to use these on the theater as well, uh, make life easy for myself. So this is a really nice design. And on the Painted Lady, it looks all colorful. But on this building, um, it will be kind of a sandstone color. And so I think uh, not only am I going to use this window design, but I'm also going to use the designs around the windows to shape the bricks that will go on the building. And I think that's going to look very pretty and it will also help coordinate it with the rest of the village. I have four egg cartons plus uh, a few pieces left over from the castle build such as these which I'm not sure if I'm even going to use but I've started cutting up the egg cartons and I'm using scissors this time instead of tearing them and uh, planning the shapes even more than last time and figuring out how I can use different parts of the egg carton to be decorative pieces and give some structure and texture to the exterior of the theater. I also got out uh, my lace collection. I have some old lace that was given to me by uh, a friend of my sister's actually uh, given to me by her partner when she passed on and some of it is handmade like this this has been made in the round but I will probably need to cut it so I have some beautiful lace here and I think that I should go ahead and use it because I don't know what else I will need it for in the future, so I'm going to try to use as much of it as I can. This I got on Timu, and I think it's so pretty. And then this is from Amazon, and these are some nice designs too. So we'll see how this all comes together to make the exterior of the, te uh, the theater look very fancy. I cut up the lids to the egg cartons. I took these middle sections out. I had three of those and I cut the ends and then I drew lines on the long flat side pieces. Um, I haven't drawn lines on these yet because I'm not sure if I need them or how wide they need to be. And then this one didn't have a middle piece so it has a nice flat back and I'm going to use that to draw the curves that will be the tops of the windows. So now I cut out 
these shapes so that I can make these window shapes. They're not actually going to be windows. They're actually just going to be designs in the stucco on the outside. And I'm not going to do the divisions on the inside, I don't think. I think I'm going to leave the insides plain. But we shall see. I cut all the strips to be the right size. And then I'm going to wait to cut the bottom pieces so that as I piece them together on the building, then I'll cut the bottom piece to fit exactly across however they end up. I painted part of the building that almondine color that I like. Uh, these are the areas where I'm going to put the lace, and so I figured I should um, paint underneath them first because um, I'm going to paint over some of them, but some of them I'm not going to paint over. So, But I thought that I wouldn't paint the parts of the building where I'm planning on gluing the windows on or the window shapes because um, I thought the glue might stick better to the cardboard rather than having paint underneath it. <clears throat> I glued the lace onto the parts where I painted. I love this. It's so pretty. This lace, I believe, is handmade. And I wrapped those all the way around the building. And then I had this other gorgeous lace that I put on the front here. And then I didn't have enough of it to go around the side, so then I did something different over on the side here. And Dot, you might recognize this one. And then I drew a line and I glued the curved pieces of the arches along the line. And now I'm adding the straight pieces. So I'm using tacky glue for the arches and I used Mod Podge to glue the lace on. Once I got the straight pieces all lined up and glued on, then I'm measuring each of the bottom pieces to be exactly, to fit exactly between the other two lines. I've started painting the almondine color over the window shapes for the arches. I'm going to be painting it over the lace and over everything and then using a wash of some kind to bring out the details. So, but I've run out of paint for today. It's a Sunday and I get the paint at Hobby Lobby so they won't be open till tomorrow. So I think I'm just going to need to leave it here for today, but I'm really happy with how it's coming along and I think it's going to be very pretty. So thank you for coming to visit today and to see what I'm doing. And I will continue on with this and have lots more to show you next week. So bye-bye.